Carvera Air is desktop CNC machine. It's smart, precise and versatile. Perfect for small business or home use. The work area is 30 by 20 by 13 centimeters, which is enough to make cool things and it don't take much room on the desk. If you want to use longer stock, you can take off the back plate unscrewing 6 screws. You can also use 4 axis module, then the max length is 20 cm and diameter 9.2 cm. It has die cast frame, thick rails and pole screws which make it sturdy and precise, precision 0.01 mm. Carvera Air is fully enclosed machine. It has transparent flip up lead. Instruction how to open it is on the lead and there is transparent panel on the top. Inside the machine are nice bright LED lights. Spindle is 200 watt and RPM is up to 13K. The collet is 3.125 mm which is 1/8 inch and there are also optional quarter inch, 4 mm and 6 mm. Tools are changed manually but this lever system makes it easy and fast. Carvero Air don't have integrated dust collector, but it has the system for external collection. It has removable dust shoe connected with a pipe which goes to the back wall. Behind the machine you can find vacuum board. I had laying around the old vacuum cleaner and I used 3D printed adapter to connect it. Next to the vacuum board is 8mm air connection. On the side of the spindle is air nozzle. Position of the nozzle can be adjusted and air volume also. This machine don't have built-in screen. You can use your PC or tablet to control it. On the back side is USB connection which you can use to charge your tablet and also USB-C for data transfer. There are also wired emergency stop button. My Kero controller can be used with iOS, Android, MacOS, Windows and Linux. My Kero also have their own cam software. I use Fusion 360 but you can also use different. Before I show how this machine works and what you can make with this. Let's see what else comes with the machine. It was nicely packed and nothing was broke or damaged. All the things were well packed inside the machine. You will get nice toolbox with things you mostly use like L bracket, clamps, screws, some tools and tool bits. You also get all the cables you need. Bit colors, some more tool bits, manual tool setter, safety goggles, tablet holder, and stop button. You will get PCB fabrication pack, which includes all you need to start making PCBs. and pack of different materials. There are also pre-made PCB for example project and items to make it yourself. There are also user manual, example guide and two waste boards. Waste board gives you CNC work areas intact. Example guide tells you step by step how to fix stock in place, what tool the bits to use and all the settings you need to adjust. I recommend to do this example project first because it helps you to understand the workflow. Inside the toolbox are clamps and three different length screws to fix your stock in place.
this machine as wired C probe. Auto probing and leveling automatically calibrates tool precisely, efficiently, detecting surface irregularities and reducing manual setup time for CNC milling operations. This ensures precise cuts or uneven materials, enhancing CNC machining accuracy. Tool changes are easy to do. Machine tells you when and what tool to change to. It will also alert you with sound and flashing light. First thing I tried was to make PCB. First task is engraved to copper layer. Sanding before applying UV soldering mask. UV soldering mask also comes with the PCB fabrication pack. The first one I did had problems. It uh, was not cut all the way through. I then noticed that I used different board as seen in guide. I also didn't use two screws when fixing the board. I used different board and I almost got it right this time. When removing the mask it cut off the copper layer completely at one connection. These boards can easily warp. I think it was not the machine fault, it could be the board issue. But overall it came out quite nice. It can handle many different materials, hardwoods, softwoods, plastics, non-ferrous metals. With slow speeds it can handle carbon steel and stainless steel also. Carvera Air also has 4 axis module. It is mounted on the bed with 6 screws and you need to connect the cable. It's quick and easy. Something went wrong and it broke. I thought maybe I didn't fix it in place correctly and I tried again. Same thing happened. I found out that some example G codes had some issues and it seems to be the issue. New files are available from web. I didn't try it again because I didn't have more material, but I had seen good results from other Carvera Air users. I did have problems with the dust shoe. It fell off because the magnets that holds it in place came off the dust shoe. I glued them back and this issue was fixed. This relief carving is also one of the examples. Came out very good. It has very clean details. Two tool bits was used to make it. This example project came out nice. There are different images that you can use. I use this Spider-Man. I used premium PCB because I was a little bit lazy and I didn't want to make new PCB because I had one connection damaged. It is a nice project to make because you need to use four different materials. I modeled this simple tray in Fusion 360 and I also used it to make tool pads. It's made for pine tree. After some sanding it came out quite good. I had some pieces of aluminium laying around. I don't know what type of aluminium is it but the machine handled it without any problems. Engraving was only one pass and it seems quite nice. I used default aluminium settings and it got very smooth and clean. So what are my thoughts about this machine? I think there aren't many competitors to this machine. Carvero Air is built strongly and sturdy. It has many features that others don't have and its price is on the lower side of the desk CNC's. No auto tool change isn't a negative thing. This manual change is good. For the dust collection can be used even cheap home vacuum. 
with the quality price ratio is one of the best on the market. So for starting the CNCing and even for smaller business, I think it would be the great machine. I am very excited to try more CNCing, especially metal bars. You can comment what should I try to make with this machine. As always, thanks for watching.